I'm Scott Al Miller, and this is the 2nd of September, 2024. We are here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and today we actually have a lot going on. So yesterday we really took the day off. We needed time to recharge, but we got our energy. And one of the reasons we needed time to recharge is because today we are actually going to do things, and we're doing things tomorrow as well. We've actually had uh, a bit of activity scheduled. So we knew that getting a little bit of rest before that was good. This morning we started off by going to the Mate Experience uh, over in Recoleta, which is not super far, but a few neighborhoods away. So we had to take an Uber and, and get started early in the morning. That started, I think, at like 8.30, uh, if I remember correctly, or maybe we had to leave at 8.30, but we had to get up a bit earlier than we've been getting up, get moving, and get out there. So that was, we had to kickstart the day. So getting a little bit of sleep, going to bed earlier last night, that was all very important. The Mate experience was really good. It was, it was so much fun. It was a couple hours, met lots of cool people there, um, had a really nice time, learned about Mate. The, the people who put on uh, uh, the, the Mate experience demonstration and toss all the stuff, they were excellent. It was, it was really good. This is one of our favorite things on the trip just because you interact with people and do stuff and learn things. And now we're all into Mate and know what to do and how it works. Uh, so that was really cool. From there, we decided we were going to go to see Recoleta because we were in the area and we hadn't done that yet. So we headed over to the famous cemetery of Recoleta. It's not uh, the biggest, but it is the oldest and most famous in the city. And that's where Eva Perón is buried, Eva Duarte. Uh, so we went over there, got lunch at, I wrote this down, Panaderia Rosada, which there's multiple locations in the city, but one of them looks at the cemetery. So we sat there, had a nice little brunch. Again, lunches and that kind of whole cafe thing has consistently been really good. The really good selection of food, great coffees, all that is just very, very good everywhere we go in Buenos Aires. Then we went into the cemetery, walked around that. You're not allowed to film there. I didn't get in trouble. They just say when you walk in, you're not allowed to film here. So we don't have much to show of there. Everyone who's filming that is filming there without being allowed to. Uh, but we spent probably two hours walking around. It is super interesting. It's also a little bit creepy. It's a cemetery, but really, really interesting and beautiful and I think you do need to do that. It, it, it is a weird thing to say that you should do the cemetery tour here in Argentina, but it actually was really good. So uh, worth checking out. Uh, we then went to, uh, from there, we, we did the cemetery and then we uh, we did see some people doing tango on the street. It's one of the few times that we actually saw just street performers of tango. And then we went to La Boca. This is one of those must do things in Argentina. And I have to say, it's a must not to do. It is. Garbage. So La Boca is basically a really poor rundown barrio built around a soccer stadium. Yeah, it's got some cool history, but in reality, it's a really rough barrio that has not been well kept up and it feels like intentionally allowed to decay to make it kind of a tourist attraction of decay. And then they put in this little street that looks like I described it as if you had wanted to do a demo of something you could do at Disney World and you hired a drunk homeless guy to do it for you. It's all super shoddy, really crappy, really small scale. It looks like a really run down carnival show uh, with like old New Orleans theming everything instead of audio animatronics. It's just cheap paper mache. Everything is just fake for the tourist. It is absolute trash. I cannot say don't go there enough. It was pathetic. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It was embarrassing for Argentina to have this there. This is not something that tourists should be being told about. Don't go waste your time on it. It's just, it's just a tourist trap, right? It's, there's no reason to go see it. There's nothing authentic. There's nothing interesting. It's not very safe and everything's super expensive. And it's just a bunch of shopping and restaurants there to capture tourists who've been tricked into going to a really remote location. That's just a bunch of brightly colored old rundown buildings with paper mache characters on the ledges. And it's all so tiny. You can see everything in five minutes and none of it's interesting. So that was insanely disappointing and almost offensive that YouTubers have been recommending it to people because they're just doing the what you must see from the brochures tour and not actually evaluating things. Like this was, this was seriously a joke. Like I was not, not impressed. And I talked to Argentinians about it and they're like, oh yeah, no, that's absolutely terrible. Why would anyone go there? 
Then for dinner, because we were recommended this at the Mate Experience this morning, we hunted down a place called Romario's, and this is, it is a chain, but it's a chain here in Buenos Aires, not like a big chain, and they do a bunch of authentic stuff, uh, including uh, empanadas, they were off the hook good, really good pizza. It's the first time, you know, we've only had a little bit of pizza here, right? But this pizza was actually good. However, people are like, it's like thick crust and stuff. It's still a really thin, crispy crust. Not as thin as the other stuff we had. It is not what Americans would call a thick crust. It's not what Americans would call a medium crust. It's on the thin side. It's not thin like Sicilian. It's not paper thin, but it's a thin-ish crust. So people are a little bit, I think, unaware of the range of pizzas here and describing them a little bit incorrectly. It was very high quality though. It was quite good. Good. Definitely not my favorite pizza, but that's a stylistic thing and everybody likes different things. For me, I like it thicker. For me, I like it a little bit less, just toppings uh, floating on top. I like more of an integrated and often just plain cheese. Um, I think toppings are often distracting from having a really high quality, just standard pizza. That's not something that's very popular here. So we're still struggling to find pizza that we really think stands out, but this was very good. But their empanadas were amazing. And more importantly, we also got, although I think that was the best thing, we also got this thing where they basically take a wheel of cheese, put it into an insanely hot skillet. And I've heard supposedly a lot of places don't do this well, but Romario's did this perfectly. They bring it out at an insane temperature. It sits there and actually cooks on the table. And it's basically like a wheel of cheese turning into a fondue and you just take some really good bread that they make in house and dunk it in the cheese and scrape it up and eat it that way. So it kind of feels like maybe Armenian inspired. It's like, or Georgian, like that region of eat like really far Western uh, Asia. This kind of food is popular there. Uh, the quality was excellent really good we really enjoyed those things and the pizza was good it just wasn't like wow uh so that was our dinner at romario's and uh, then we called it a night so that was a very busy day we got a lot done did a bunch of filming did a bunch of experiences had a really good time and uh that was our day so we'll see you tomorrow